Hi folks, today I'm going to demonstrate how to use a mechanical 5 volt relay switch. I'll give you a little close up of this little guy right here. Uh, this is a HK19F-DC 5 volt dash SHG uh, 1 amp 125 volts AC or 2 amps 30 volts uh, DC. So I'm using it as a DC relay and what you can see here I've got two 9 volt batteries and I've got my relay right here, a couple LEDs, a couple resistors just to protect the LEDs from burning out and I've also got a 1K potentiometer and a multimeter. What I'm going to do is use this 9 volt battery to turn off and on the relay and by regulating the voltage with the potentiometer I'll be able to flip that relay switch back and forth and then I'm going to be using this 9 volt battery to turn on the LEDs. <clears throat> now both these uh, 9 volt batteries are not fully charged they came out of smoke detectors that were uh, beeping because they were complaining of low power so I took them out, replaced the batteries, and I use these now for little experiments like this. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and connect the power here. This is to control the relay. As you can see, we're at about 4.2 millivolts. And I'm going to connect the power here. So this LED here is indicating the off position. We are currently in the off position on the relay. I'm going to increase the current flow and the voltage by turning up the potentiometers which is going to decrease resistance and as it goes up we should uh, hear the relay flip and the other light should turn on. There we go. <clears throat> now I'm going to take it back down. We're at 7 volts right there. 7.7 .7. And I'm going to take it back down and see where it goes back to the off position. Slowly reduce the, or increase the resistance here. Nine, eight, point seven, right around point six, we flip back to the off position. Try it a couple more times. Going up, going up. Let's see at what point it turns on. Point five, seven, nine, two volts. And there, right around two point seven turns on. I'll take it back down, see if it turns off at 0.6 volts again. There it is, 0.6. See if we get up to around 2.6 if it goes back on. Yep, right around 2.6. So you've got about a 2 volt range for this uh, relay switch. Uh, <clears throat> now what I am going to use this relay switch for, I'm going to use it for two different things. I've got a sort of a mobile solar charging unit that I want to uh, use this with. The unit has a 12 volt battery with a uh, charge controller in there. Um, but what I want to do is I want to be able to turn the charge controller off when there's no power coming from the panels. For example, when it's dark, I don't want the charge controller consuming power because it'll just stay connected to the battery and stay on and you could find out how much voltage your battery has. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to consume any energy from the battery uh, at night unless I manually want to do so. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to connect this relay to the charge panels and between the charge panels and the, uh, the uh, charge controller and as the voltage goes up 
on the panels in the morning as it starts to get more and more sunlight. Voltage will go up, 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 and up, and eventually switch the whole unit on and it will start charging. And then at night, as it uh, decreases in light, uh, the voltage is going to drop down to a certain point, and then off it goes. The whole unit will be off. And I'll demonstrate that after I've got it connected. And another thing I would like to use this for is a load control switch. Um, so that when I'm consuming energy from the 12 volt battery, I'd like to have one of these switches uh, turn the load off when it drops to say around 11 volts. So connected to one of these 5 volt relays, I would uh, put a resistor on there and try to get fine-tune that resistor, the size of that resistor to right around where I want the cutoff to be. So if I want it to be 11 volts, I'll just change that resistor until I get it right around 11 volts. And then what will happen is after the battery charges up for another couple of volts, it will turn back on. So it'll probably be more like 10 to 12. So if it drops down to 10, it'll go off so no power can be taken out of the battery until it charges back up till 12. Anyways, I hope that makes sense and I will show some circuit diagrams uh, for this particular wiring. Um, but right now I'm going to take the unit and wire it so that you can use one battery. Now with one battery, it's only it, you're not going to be able to flip back and forth like we're doing here between two different lights going off and on. Uh, what it will do is turn one or two. I'll have it turn both lights on. So it'll be on or off. Uh, but you'll also see a bit of dimming because the power is going to be coming from this battery through the 1K potentiometer. It's going to go into the relay, <clears throat> flip the coil, and then it's going to load the LEDs and turn them on. So I'm going to go ahead and wire that up right now. All right, now we only have the single battery over here. I'm going to turn the potentiometer all the way down. So we're down to 4.2 millivolts. Now I'm going to turn it up, and I'm guessing that right around 2.6 it should flip the switch, and you should hear the coil pop. Now it won't be enough to light these LEDs at that voltage but uh, you should hear the coil pop and then as I continue to increase or turn up the volume so to speak and decrease the resistance you'll see the lights go on. So right around 2.6 we should hear the coil pop. There it goes and it had enough voltage at that point to even turn all the lights on. And as you can see they get brighter or dimmer if I change the potentiometer a little. Alright, we'll drop it back down. It should turn off at 0.6, but these LEDs are going to cut out sooner than that. As you can see, the red one just cut out. green one just cut out at about 2 volts. Drop in at around 0.6, we should hear that coil pop. And the circuit will be completely closed. See, right now it's using 0.9 volts. Here goes the circuit at 0.6. And we're back down to the bottom, 4.23 millivolts. One more time. It's 2.6 for the coil. On we go. Turn the volume all the way up. And we're about 7.4 volts. 
is what we're getting out of this potentiometer right now. There goes the coil. We're all the way off. All right. Well, that's it. Those were the two different wirings I wanted to show you with this 5 volt relay. It's a mechanical switch. And uh, when I get it wired up to my uh, portable solar power supply with 12 volt battery, I will um, show you a demonstration of that. Hope you enjoyed this simple demonstration. And again, uh, I will post some uh, wiring diagrams for this to make it a little bit easier for you guys to figure out. And I hope you have a chance to build it and have fun. Thanks.